एक्स्ट्रा टाइम We got me there. I'd, uh, congratulations on a on a good return. Um, you guys must be pretty happy with the day's win. Yeah, I think we're very pleased um, to finish the day with them seven down. Uh, really sets us up for a good position to um, hopefully bowl them out in the morning tomorrow. What did you um, after being well, after England won the toss? What did you target as a good total you might want to dismiss before? Yeah, I think what we knew. Um, From the toss, it was always going to be a challenging um, wicket. It always looked like a good batting con- conditions, but what really was in our favour was probably the overheads. It was quite cloudy for the whole day, and we just knew we probably had to be patient. Um, and I think that showed to that first session. Even though we didn't take any wickets, um, we were able to kind of keep them restricted with the run rate. So we just knew we had to start well after lunch, and uh, we managed to get those three quick poles, which really swung the momentum our way. And how good was it in a in front of a big crowd to um, dismiss the home skipper cheekly? Must have uh, really relished that. Oh mate, it was awesome. Um, yeah, special mention to the crowd today. They were fantastic. The, um, the holy stand over there was just electric all day. They were phenomenal. And to be fair, you can you can see the excitement of everyone getting back into um, cricket and getting back into stadiums because it was um, yeah, it was some impressive energy. Yeah, and the wicket of of Joe Root um, just talks through that, and and you know how satisfying. Yeah, I think um, obviously it's always great to 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 get big wickets like Joe, but I think it was more about we knew if we could crack an end open, um, it wasn't always going to be um, easy to start, and I think we just knew that we had to make sure that we made those first few balls count to each incoming batsman. So um, we managed to do that well today. Actually, when wickets did fall, we managed to get two at a time, kind of thing, which kind of kept us in the game um, right throughout. And, and just one more for now. What were the um, what was it like in the sheds beforehand? I mean, six changes is I don't know if it's unprecedented on a, on a test tour, but it's quite a lot, and you know, <laughs> players coming and going and things. I mean, what what was it like in terms of and what was said beforehand? Um, yeah, I think probably in camp it wasn't too much of a shock. Obviously, we knew with the injuries that um, there were some doubts. Um, so I, I think we also always fall back on our squad. We've got a big squad here, and. Um, everyone seems to have a good understanding of, of where they sit and, and experience as well. So yeah, no, it was actually fine. Um, obviously, it's not great. Everyone wants to play, um, but yeah, with all the injuries that kind of <laughs> came about, all quick, it is a bit crazy. But um, no, we're, as a squad, we're pretty happy um, and, and confident with what we have in the sheds. Um, hi, Matt. I just wanted to, to pick up um, from there, if I can. Um, sort of on the fact you made six changes and, and still took seven wickets, somewhat. Looks like a decent pitch. What do you think that sort of shows about the, the strength and depth and the competition for places within the squad? Well, I think we've always relied on a, um, a strong um, depth in our squad. We have for a while, um, so I don't think there was uh, yeah too much um, shock. I think we all knew that um, today we had to go out and do our job. Our bowling attack, obviously, with Trent coming back and and we've still got Wags as well, and and then myself coming in and. Um, Daryl and then AJ has, has played a beautiful hand um, every time he does get the opportunity. So yeah, I think everyone was um, yeah very confident that we could go out there and do the job. And um, thankfully, we we got to um, get a good start today. I mean, there have been occasionally times when you you struggled a bit since making lots of changes, like Sydney eighteen months ago, for example. Do you, do you feel like the depth within the group has grown since then with some of the guys that have come in? Oh yeah, I think at the end of the day, you've got um, each game presents its own challenges. Um, obviously, that Sydney game was playing in, in, in Australia on a on a good wicket, and um, yeah, the results didn't go away. But I don't think um, players' confidence was knocked um, in terms of um, what we can do and, and what we can deliver. So I think guys coming into this game here, um, everyone was really confident. We've had good preparation for this trip, and and um, just go out there and express yourself and I think that's what has probably been the foundation of this team for a long time is um, that depth in squad um, and, and trusting that when you come in you know what your role is latest news and exclusive video shonge update thakte ekhoni subscribe korun amader youtube channel bell icon e click korte bhulben na jeno